Hello, this is Hussain from Geekset.com. Today I will talk about the active digitizer and the resistive digitizer and what's the difference and which one is to go for. For example, we have two samples or two different models of active uh, digitizer. Uh, one of them is normal, it doesn't use, it uses only a special pen without a battery and another kind which uses a battery you open here, you install a battery to use it and there is uh, another kind, uh, it's uh, resistive uh, that one uh, you can use your finger uh, or anything else um, to drive or to select anything on the screen it's a touch screen what's the advantages of the active uh, is when you hover over something uh, you can see the cursor is moving around with it so you can go over something to lighting or give labels or information about the subject you hover over it no need for clicking it so this is the good one of the good features and the other good feature with it is a pressure sensitive so for example if we take let's say a note here, okay, we can choose another one, new one, okay, Hi. we can see it depends on the pressure that you give, it will give you lighter or darker or wider range of lines, so this is better when you draw something or use sometimes with Photoshop, editing photos or anything else uh, so it's very useful and you can hover over things uh, with the uh, resistive ones uh, if you press something it gives you only one pressure. It doesn't give you a pressure sensor. It doesn't have pressure sensor on the tip like the active. So this is uh, one of the reason of the things you will miss. And the other thing, the cursor doesn't follow when you hover over the screen. Uh, and uh, but what main the main important thing is with the resistive. It's useful when you use it on small LCDs. For example, we have a 4 inch or a 5 inch display or let's say 7 inch display. So when you go with the active pen, it's very hard to navigate because it depends on the calibration and the way you hold the pen because it's from the tip here, it will find uh, not on the tip, the end tip of the, it will follow so if you hold it like this or hold it like this you have to, to do the calibration again and if you flip the screen also from uh, landscape mode or to portrait mode you have to do the calibration again uh, or you have to hold the pen always like this straight so this is bad uh, or bad thing to have on uh, disadvantage of active uh, and the problem with it, with small LCDs, everything will be small. For example, I will show you one example. If you have like for her a small LCD and you want to type things, you have to be careful where you click. You have to follow the cursor from your eyes and click, not only the tip and you know where and click finished. Like uh, when you when you're using, uh, let's say, a pocket PC mobile, when you click something, it clicked. So. Uh, but in uh, active, no, you have to follow the cursor in small LCD, so it will not work on uh, like 3.8 LCDs like this one, uh, 2.8 or 5 or even 7, it's not uh, fun or useful. For example, I will take another thing for you. Uh, you can see here, there's small, so when you click, so when you have, you have to be careful where you... Uh, hold the pen like for example if I hold the pen like this the cursor will be not exactly the same place they're meeting and if I hold the pen like this they will meet so it depends on this and when you have a small LCD so everything will be small for example like the Sony 
uh, it has very high resolution and small LCD uh, Sony VAIO uh, touchscreen. So if it was an active, it will be hard to navigate. So you have even when you have small buttons, the close, you have to change all the settings when you're using active. So it depends on the way you want to use the pen. Uh, or your system to navigate uh, around. So if you want to use uh, the PC mainly to browse around and uh, click stuff, it's better to have an uh, resistive on small LCDs than active. Uh, thanks for your time, especially for uh, automobile PCs like uh, I don't know why they did go with the uh, OQO model O2 they went with a uh, active one uh, it's very hard I've seen some videos also it's very hard to click on stuff they made it and also they didn't put a place to hold the pen so their main attraction was on the keyboard how to input the data from using the keyboard not the LCD that's why also they put uh, capacitive scrolls on the side so when you use the LCD to write also your hand will go over the ca uh, capacitive scrolls will move the page left and right while you're writing so the main design of the OKO uh, model O2 uh, it's not to use it or write down with a pen they just put it just an extra feature but uh, I think they went for the keyboard mainly uh, but the OQ, uh, for example, the Samsung Q1 Ultra, uh, they made it, frankly, to use as uh, navigation with the touch screen and the pen. They made it useful uh, with a high resolution LCD on it. So that was some information about it. Thanks anyway for any other information about these uh, products or questions. You can uh, email me or visit us at uh, geekset.com and I will be glad to answer your questions. Thanks.